Soldiers at Fort Hood are in the midst of competing in the three core best squad competition. The winner of this level will advance to the U.S. Army Forces Command Competition. Fox 44's Allison Fox O'Connor visited the training areas today to get an up close and personal look at how these soldiers compete. I'm here in one of the many training areas of Fort Hood where squads from across the Army installation are competing in the three core best squad competition. Now, I wanted to find out what this competition was all about, so I'm going to go run one of the lanes with some of the squads. Best squad competitions range from the company level up to the United States Army Forces level, which will be held at Fort Hood later this summer. Today, squads were tasked with different challenges like being timed when putting on full protective gear and identifying potentially dangerous chemicals. And they're going to be going through their survival skills on reacting to chemical attacks using their JS list and their protective mask, as well as going through different detection methods and unmasking procedures. This was just one of the challenges squads had to face. Others were in combat like scenarios where casualties were on the field and they had to deliver care while protecting themselves. Squad leader Sergeant Adam Acevedo says the challenges in the previous competitions have helped his squad move forward. They seem pretty similar. Um, I have a lot of past experience with these lanes as well, which is a good thing. So I've some of the soldiers I have in my squad are not fam too familiar with these lanes, but we're, we're going to do great. And with the heat today, leaders made sure to keep an eye on their soldiers and remind them of safety precautions. Master Sergeant Johnson says these competitions are very different from when he was younger, and he's happy to see soldiers working together. When I went through competitions like this in the past, so it was individually based. Uh, now it's changed to squad base. Uh, I like that it's squad based now because it is pro promoting cohesion within the squads, teamwork, uh, building morale, esprit de corps, uh, and just overall just. The squad is the backbone of the Army. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to stick to my TV job because I don't think I'm built for these type of challenges. But it was really awesome to see all the squads working together to overcome the task put in front of them. The winner of the three core best squad competition will be announced at the end of this week. On Fort Hood, I'm Allison Fox O'Connor, Fox 44 News.